Chit, chit, chit. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again. Today's topic is, is Wix, Squarespace, Shopify, and any other platform that's out there for, you know, quick and serve web development, a challenge for web developers. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website, codingphase.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro. Guys, listen, you got to understand, a lot of these platforms are created for people that don't know anything about web development. You know, a lot of times people sign up to the services and they say, hey, I'm going to build a website on Wix. All I need is a website on, online. That's it. In their head, that's all they need. But then they decide, oh, I need to get, uh, you know, something that connects to my Twitter feed, something that connects to my Facebook feed, something that connects to, um, you know, my products. So now it has a lot of things in there where it's like, wait, Wix doesn't provide everything that you need for your business or for like let's say your music website or for I don't know whatever type of website you're trying to sell freaking uh, chancletas online then you know Wix is there but they can't provide you with everything right so that's when a, a developer comes in you know a lot of people be like oh man you know Wix is gonna take everybody's job Oh man, you know, Squarespace, oh my God, you know, Shopify, you can't build no more stores for people because now they have Shopify. Guys, Shopify, I think it's a blessing for developers when you think about it. I don't know about you guys, I personally hate having to build the back end of a e commerce, right? It's a lot of stuff that you gotta build and it gets really annoying. It's already built for you, right? Now, as a developer, where you can come in and use that platform, somebody might come to you and be like, hey, I already have uh, Shopify. All I need is a new website, a new design to it. I need some little extra plugins, some extra features. That's when you come in as a developer and just, you know, go in there, chop it up, fix it up, create the layout, create the things, you know, build your hours. And that's it. Keep it moving. You know, a lot of developers right now are, are are pretty much saying, "Oh man, we can't we can't do it with with uh, you know Shopify and all those other services, even Squarespace." People are worried about Squarespace. Guys, don't be worried about none of the services, man, because you gotta understand, every business, every person who needs a custom website is still going to contact you. You know. All the services, all they do is just cookie cutter websites, right? They look exactly the same as other people's websites. You can't really customize it. Okay, Wix, you could drag and drop and put things in, in certain orders. But even at that, right, you give that to a regular person, a civilian, somebody who has no idea of design, who has no idea of like web development, who has no idea of typography, hierarchy, color theory, none of the good stuff, right? What happens? They come in and create a hideous website. <laughs> a website that people go in there and the bounce rate is about 88%. Meaning, <laughs> only 12% of the people go in there and stay longer than a minute. All right? So that's a dub. That's a fail. That means it's horrible. People are not going to buy from that person. People are not going to take that person seriously. You know, so then at some point they're going to realize, they're like, what's going on? My, my Wix website is not as good as everybody else's website. Yeah, because your website looks like it was made in 1992. You know what I mean? So we, we could definitely help you as a developer, as a designer, uh, you know, somebody who knows about this. I can help you. I can come in and mold your little website, fix it up. You want it on Wix? Cool. Here's on Wix. I'll do it for you on Wix. Da -da -da, fix it up, do a little couple of changes, voila, create an extra API and another server and tell them like, hey, there's certain things that we can't do here on Wix, but if you still want to have it on Wix, I can have it here on Wix and have a separate server for all the extra stuff that you might want, all right? Now, you just leave it to the people, right? You leave it to them, you explain to them the, the good, the bad, the ugly of these services. But at the same time, you don't have to be like, oh man, 
it's the end of you know the era of developers nah man it's just the beginning because it means that there's so many people in need of websites that now there's services out there that's just making cookie cutters right people realize that right people come in and they look at a website and oh this looks exactly like that website I went to my competitors and it looks exactly like my competitors. They don't want that. They want originality. They want something that is unique and people could come in and be like, oh, wow, this is a new experience. This is XYZ uh, business. It's not the ABC business. You get what I'm saying? So don't worry. Just keep working. Build your sites. You know, if somebody comes to you and say, hey, I want you to work on my site. It's on Squarespace. Do this and that, do a couple of changes, set up the, the layouts. Do it for them. It's not that hard. All you're doing is using another platform. It's like using another backend, right? You can still do all the things that you need to do on the front end. You know, it's not that hard. So stop worrying about that. It's the end of the world. For 2018, I think having those type of websites are actually good for developers because it gives us more value. It shows to the people like, hey man, you see what they do on Wix, you see what they do on Squarespace, you see what they do on, uh, what's the other one, on Shopify, right? There's only so much you can do there. You know, once you hit that limit, then you realize it's like, oh wow, developers are really important in this field. So I either have to hire some developers for my own company, or I have to hire a you know developer as a contractor I can say hey man can you fix this can you build this for me you get what I'm saying so stop worrying about that there's not gonna be no jobs guys I've been hearing this since I was 14 years old when I was 14 years old people would tell me back in the days people would call this graphic designers and you know you say I'll build a website oh so you're a web designer or you're a graphic designer that's what people would say automatically there wasn't no thing as a web developer nothing like that maybe there was a webmaster Right, but back then people would be like, "Oh yeah, you know, the GoDaddy has a, a a page builder." You know, it's like, wait, what? You know, GeoCities has a page builder. I could drag and drop. They've been saying that since I was 14 years old. I'm 30 years old this year. I just turned 30 last year, December 3rd. We in January right now. Matter of fact, we in February. Sorry, got my dates wrong. Um, we in February, so it's like literally like. I've been hearing this for f almost like, what, 15 years? And it's like in 15 years, it didn't happen. It's not going to happen now. Especially when everything is connected to the web. This watch connected to the, wa to the web. Um, this watch connected to the web. My phone connected to the web. The TV connected to the web. The computer connected to the web. The VCR, <laughs> if there was a VCR, would be connected to the web. The freaking... <laughs> The I don't know, the PS4 connected to the to the web. The the freaking the fridge connected to the web. The freaking I don't know, man. Anything that you could think of is connected to the web nowadays, man. Matter of fact, this probably is a VCR out there. It's like, hey, man, VCR, you know, with Wi-Fi, and you could connect it to Netflix. For some reason, some guy still has a, a million VHSs in his house. But he wants to be able to watch Netflix, so it still connects to the internet. So, all I'm saying, guys, is you're still going to be valued out here pretty highly, man. You're still going to get your money. Of course, you got to understand, if you're thinking and you're trying to compare yourself here in the United States to other countries where guys are working for 3 $4, $10, that's on you. You can't compare yourself to those guys because that's in a whole different world to me that's like a whole different planet <laughs> you know what i mean like i i don't consider myself in that space you know what, what i'm saying like me I'm, I'm out here i i look at what other people are making here in the united states you know everybody could live comfortably as a developer so yeah stop focusing on the idea of like damn man you know wix is gonna come in and take over the world no, it's not. <laughs> they need to stop it with that. You know what I mean? So, anyways, man, it's your boy Joe. Back at it again. CodingFreeze.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you go to the website. Guys, we're about to release the new and the latest CodingFreeze.com. Man, go check it out in a little bit. All right? Hopefully, by the time you watch this video, it's already live. 
But anyways, go keep checking it out throughout the whole day. Today, before, I don't know, before 9 o'clock Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, the new website should be up. All right? So go check it out.